a chapter a day to brighten your way. Longing hearts will be comforted when Jesus returns. Hello, friends. Let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Zechariah chapter six. Ancient chariots were pulled by strong horses, while warriors stood in the rear to fight the enemy. In this chapter, God showed the prophet Zechariah the last of the eight visions, which used God's four chariots to prophesy the coming glory of the Messiah. Let's read chapter six together. Zechariah, chapter six. Again, I lifted my eyes and saw, and behold, four chariots came out from between two mountains, and the mountains were mountains of bronze. The first chariot had red horses, the second black horses, the third white horses, and the fourth chariot dappled horses, all of them strong. Then I answered and said to the angel who talked with me, "What are these, my lord?" And the angel answered and said to me. These are going out to the four winds of heaven after presenting themselves before the Lord of all the earth. The chariot with the black horses goes toward the north country. The white ones go after them, and the dappled ones go toward the south country. When the strong horses came out, they were impatient to go and patrol the earth. And he said, "Go, patrol the earth." So they patrolled the earth. Then he cried to me. Behold, those who go toward the north country have set my spirit at rest in the north country. And the word of the Lord came to me: Take from the exiles Heldai, Tobijah, and Jedaiah, who have arrived from Babylon, and go the same day to the house of Josiah the son of Zephaniah. Take from them silver and gold, and make a crown, and set it on the head of Joshua the son of Jehozadak the high priest, and say to him. Thus says the Lord of hosts: Behold, the man whose name is the branch, for he shall branch out from his place, and he shall build the temple of the Lord. It is he who shall build the temple of the Lord, and shall bear royal honor, and shall sit and rule on his throne. And there shall be a priest on his throne, and the council of peace shall be between them both. And the crown shall be in the temple of the Lord as a reminder to Helam, Tobijah, Jedaiah, and Hen the son of Zephaniah. And those who are far off shall come and help to build the temple of the Lord. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. And this shall come to pass if you will diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God. The angel said, "Behold, those who go toward the north country have set my spirit at rest in the north country." The north represented the direction of sin for the Israelites, and most of their enemies came from the north. So this prophecy declared that on the day of Jesus' return, God's children would see sin being dealt with and justice being done. Dear friends, let's look forward to the coming of Jesus with strong faith. I believe that on the day of His return, there will be no more wars between nations, and all the nations will turn to the King of Glory and the High Priest of Righteousness. The whole earth will be filled with peace and glory in His hands. Let's pray, dear Jesus. I thank you for your grace. I long for the day of your return. Please strengthen my faith so that I may have an unchanging hope throughout my life. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you, and I love you too.